Kayla Strange. What's good in the hood? How y'all doing? I have Meerkat, aka Traffic Cone. Right there. Just kidding. Mirror, come on, get inside the shot. We're gonna do a mukbang, aka Eat and Show. Not sponsored by Checkers. Other french fries fell out. I am a big Beaufort. I did some eight lifestyle changes, so. What day? Why are you not focusing, girl? I don't know. Haven't decided. I need to do it. I need to do it like yesterday. But today we're going to eat some sorrows. I'm just kidding. So I dropped a french fry on the floor. Huh? Yes. My son picks it up and puts it in my mouth. I'm chewing it up and he's like, oh, by the way, there's a hair on it. But there really wasn't. It was so rude. I have a high C fruit punch. Some french fries. That he's still enough mine. And he got chicken bites. Um, it says a pound. Or did it say half a pound? A pound. That's not a pound of chicken bites. That's about an ounce. And then I got the big Buford. It's not cute. Yeah, I told Granny what we were doing today. Um, I didn't tell our Lestrangians what we did today. What did we do? We sat in a hospital for like two hours and then saw a newborn baby for about two minutes. A little bit longer than that. Like five minutes. But it's like 10.30, 10, it's almost 11 o'clock at night. It's bedtime. And it was like 10. 10.48. Yeah. It was after 10 when we left the hospital. Um, one of my friends had a baby. Uh, Y'all know who it is. I've heard I post the baby shower. Ebony. I didn't take any pictures. I do have pictures, but I am not going to post them because um, I'm going to leave that up to the discretion of the mother and the father. I need to have their permission. The baby is beautiful. You know when some babies are born, they're born, born ugly. She's perfect. Like I, she's got the cutest little lips, her little eyes. She was, she, she was sleeping like a, like a brick. She was sleeping so good. And she went, <sighs> you know that little baby, <sighs> like <clears throat> they're trying to get used to air, breathing in air. Um, oh, she's just, she's perfect. Like she had her little bonnet on, the little cute curls. Mm -hmm. She was wrapped up like a little gift. She was perfect. Um, like I said, some babies are not born cute. She was. She's beautiful at first sight. So adorable. I almost I like got it. your french fries. I like how you didn't even take the makeup off. The makeup off. I haven't took my makeup off yet. I know. I can see. That baby was precious. I didn't do shit today. I um slept till 12. I went outside after school. Yeah. I slept till 12 and did absolutely nothing for 4 hours and 13 minutes till Mir got home. Yeah. I woke up got ready for the bus to go to the bus stop. We went to the bus stop, got on the bus, went to school, learned some stuff, got back on the bus, come back got back home, played some games for about twenty minutes. Went outside for about an hour or two. Came back in and went to the hospital. I went to T Mobile 
and went and helped close the store so everybody could hurry up and get to the hospital and say BB. But while Amir was at school, um, I watched YouTube videos. I can't even remember what all I watched. Some Crime Watch Daily, definitely. Um, Till Swan. I'm binge watching her right now. I like some of the things that she has to say. I, I don't that. understand some of the things she has to say. I rubbed that fair fight on my phone. No, you didn't. I saw you pull it from the box. No. Stop trying to be gross. I'm trying to say what you would say. <clears throat> we wanted slushes from Checkers, but at night, after 5 p.m., you can't get ice cream or slushies anywhere. I wanted to Except Sonic. I wanted a slushie. You didn't. You didn't. Actually, I did. You could have said something. I wanted the peach mango slushy. Oh, I'm not even gonna destroy your dream, do you? Considering the, considering the fact that it was mango or peach. It said mango peach. Peach mango. I watched a YouTube YouTuber. She did. Um, she's a doctor, either in botany or biology. I forgot her name. It's my first time seeing her. I think it's Val. Lives life. Get your days tomorrow. <clears throat> He's wearing all red. Yep. If the bananas were permitted, I would wear a banana too. No worries. He wears all blue one day. If I had all pink, he'd wear all pink one day. If I had all black, I'd wear all black one day. He has a bandana for, um, for every color, for every outfit. <laughs> that they're banned from school. Yeah. Because they're considered gang affiliated. Don't matter the print or the color. Right. You, can still you can't wear it if it's tie dyed. But I can understand safety first. People have just fucked a lot of shit up in this world. Honestly, you can't. You can't. You normally can't wear headbands either. Headbands. Yeah, anything that covers like your forehead, I think. Oh. I think that's what they said. Now let's see how how being able to see a forehead is gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt. And not being able to see somebody's forehead is gonna hurt anybody but eyes. My son told me, he tells me all the time that I'm white. Uh, then, you, then you go back and say you're translucent. Yes, I'm translucent. White reflects all white, so basically you're, you're a mirror. The color white reflects all white, and so does a mirror. So you're a mirror now. So, <clears throat> let's talk about health insurance. Yeah, I do need to do my taxes. <laughs> That's what he's got in his mind. Um, so the insurance plan that I have is supposed to be one hundred percent coverage as long as I stay within um, see the doctors within the plan, which I do, and I pay copays. So. And then if I have an emergency and have to go to the ER, it covers 100% with $175 deductible. I would like to know why I paid almost $800 with two ER visits, um, which I already paid. And I'll go and pay my $30 copay to see the specialist. And then I receive additional bills for $200, another one for $300, another one for $100 and something else. And I'm like... I'm in, but I'm like, what am I paying for? 
I would like to know what the fuck am I paying for? And all this started with the renewal back in October, I think that was when my renewal was. And I didn't have this situation until Trump became president. Like, like, what's going on? So I talked to someone on the Lolo and um, who works for the healthcare system. And they're saying, and um, they let me know real quick that the hospital has been coding things wrong. So insurance would, you know, pay, a, they would pay um, percentage, but they would add additional codes that the insurance didn't pay so they can make additional money off of people. And so I was advised that I need to have, it was two hospitals, East Alabama and Wellstar of LaGrange, that I need to have them investigated for coding my information wrong because... It was supposed to be 175 for an ER visit, and that ultrasound was covered because I've had an ultrasound there before, two years prior, same insurance package, and I paid 175 because it was medical emergency. And then they told me it was heartburn, and it wasn't. I was um, ended up having emergency surgery, and it took my regular doctor calling in an ultrasound tech to bring in equipment to do the ultrasound and then they sent me straight over to a surgeon and then the surgeon rented a room um, to do immediate surgery. So, yeah. Um, Hi. But, I'm just really trying to figure out why, how I've spent $1,500. You're paying for the, for the hospital's heart real quick. Probably more. I think I spent more than fifteen hundred. I think it was twenty eight hundred. You paying for the light bill? Probably. <laughs> the electricity. So what's really good? And the food. And then, instead of slowly drizzling me down off of my prednisone, <clears throat> my specialist took me completely off. So now I'm starting to stress because. She was the one that told me cutting myself off was the reason why my disease had attacked my lung. Because <coughs> we're not supposed to go cold turkey. <sighs> you're not wearing it tomorrow, so you're good. It smells like cheese, bro. You do smell like cheese. <laughs> cheese whiz. Yeah. You smell like parmesan. I need a corporate lawyer here in LaGrange. I contacted one in Carrollton. They never called me back. Um, Kia LaGrange is full of shit. I have one of their employees who will back me up. He's my car salesman who ended up walking out, I guess. Awesome person. Um, he validated some information, too. Anyways, when I purchased my car, the Carfax report that they had basically said my car was clear. It was fine. So, another dealership offered to buy my car from me, and I wanted to get me a Dodge Challenger. But then, they pull... I'll have to do another video on that. I have the records in another room. But anyways, Basically. where it wasn't Carfax. It was another um, where they you can check the car record report. Basically, um... Your car was salvaged, was sal salvaged, was salvaged, and mm -hmm. and they didn't. I have video it. clips where my car cuts off they in the middle of driving. They didn't say it, so yeah, they didn't tell me. They're supposed to tell you everything about the car. <clears throat> it turned out they took the car over three states, um, which clears the title for ninety days. But Kia brought the car at an auction in Mississippi, Alabama, something like that. Back in March 2017, I bought the car April 2017. So, it had clear title because it went through. It cleared out, I guess. And so, anyways, Mike Patton's report showed that the car was savaged. wasn't worth a cent. Um, and there was my dreams of my... The Challenger. Dodge Challenger with a V6 or a V8. I hadn't decided. I want a V8. 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 But I really don't want to pay the gas prices because it's going to be my everything vehicle. Gas guzzler. 
here, but I don't mind a V6. Um, I mean, I do like the 4.6 cylinder around town. I can't complain about that. I kind of do like it, but I really miss punching it and go because you can't turn a fucking corner with a 4.6 cylinder. It like slow, you know, like you can't punch and go. Like you have to make sure you can't, you can't be just there's you, to, you can't be just no vehicles in sight when you turn. Because yeah. it's like, la, 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 let's just lightly turn. I'm like, go, bitch, go. And I'm punching. I'm like, Wah! and the car's not going. So that kind of pisses me off. I want a V6 so I can punch and go. You, you can't drift around the corners. You have to. Anyways, I have the document the documentation back there where a key lied. Uh -oh. <laughs> Did that taste good the second round? Tastes like. Also, the thing about this too is, is I get error messages. And I got videos too of the airbags not working. And um, it comes up with all types of error messages. And my tires are good, but it keeps telling me I need to add air. The PSI is way too low on my tires, and the PSI is actually fine. Um, it kept telling me that, um, uh, there was, uh, something wrong with my transmission. And so I took it to the dealership and they run a diagnostic. Nothing's fucking wrong with my car transmission and it rattles. And I've had this car almost a year and it has, it has a fucking rattle. And then I noticed there's this piece of metal since I got it and I've taken it and said something about that. And they was like, oh, that's normal. Well, the other side doesn't have that piece of metal hanging out from the tire. <sighs> so if anyone has any suggestions for corporate lawyers here in the Lestrange, Georgia area, let me know. Because to me, if the airbags are not working, I have a 12 year old. If I were to be in an accident, whether it was my fault or not, the airbags don't deploy, that's like child endangerment. And Kia didn't tell me or give me the option. And my car is not a Kia. I bought it um, when it was a year old. It's a Chrysler. It's a Chrysler 200. And it has um, 50,000 miles on it now because I've already drove 10,000 in one year. A little over 10,000, like 11,000. <coughs> So, hopefully some of my customers locally will see this video. You know which lawyer. I need a corporate lawyer. I need one to go after these damn hospitals for wrong code and shit. And Kia. Car, car dealerships. And I need a divorce. So, I need a, another lawyer. It's cut and easy. I just don't want to, I mean, I don't mind paying because I just don't want to deal, right. deal with the damn, don't do that, Amir. Do I just don't want to do the paperwork. Then I can do it myself for 300 um, but there's no assets or nothing. So, um, we can put an ad in the paper. My husband's not going to respond because he don't live here. We don't know where he is, what his address is. He was last in Australia. So, <clears throat> um, he does lectures and, um, speeches on how to invest with Bitcoin. He works for Bitcoin. He works for Horizon, I guess. I don't know. Like, I'm trying to investigate through Instagram. Anyways, cut and dry. Like, <clears throat> he's never in the in the United States. He'll be in Canada, Jamaica, okay. France, Italy. Australia. Yeah, Australia. Mexico. Africa. Everywhere but fucking here. Because America already knows him. And I'm not doing it to be mean. <clears throat> he's, I, I love him like family. He's like a friend. But shit. Take us on, on, on some of them trips. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it says he needs to take him on some trips. But shit. <clears throat> I have a boo thing and I'm ready to move the fuck on. <clears throat> well, that's it, guys.
don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. And I hope y'all have a fabulous night.